Welcome Collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me for this read today. All right, so I went through my comments. So D, I cannot remember the name of this deck and I did lose the box. It's something like a spirit of the animal or animal spirit. Uh, and I also don't have crows, but I do have a raven. So you said you were seeing crows all the time. Um, so raven, raven represents shaman. So this is what the card says. It says, uh, you are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. So you gotta remember guys too, birds are always messengers, messengers from spirit. So if you're seeing them a lot, spirit is trying to send you a message. Uh, a lot of times with ravens and the Norse, uh, Norse culture, they had, uh, Odin had his two ravens. And when you'd see two ravens together, it could represent that you had a decision to make in your life or there was a big decision. So you might be on the cusp of having to make some big decision uh, that may change the path of your life or be very influential in the way your life is about to go with whatever choice it is you're going to make. And it's something to consider carefully and to use your wisdom and to be able to have confidence in the choice that you make and following through. So keep them coming guys. I don't have every animal in that deck, but I do have, I do have more than a few. We're going to grab a couple of tokens again today. I grabbed two. Let's start with the two here. We got the world and we have fool. So the world tends to be a new cycle, a new cycle beginning, a cycle coming to an end. Uh, it can mean worldwide or like literally the world may be traveling or moving somewhere else in the world. And the fool can represent a leap of faith. I'm getting told to stop with the coins. I thought we'd be pulling more than that, but I guess not. So we got the world, we got the fool. And I'm getting told to move to a tarot deck. So that is what we're going to do today. Let's see what message needs to come forward for the collective. Ooh, those two did not want to leave my hand, so I'm keeping them. Let's see what they are here. Ten of swords, three of cups. Whoa, endings, 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 endings. So that three of cups, I got to tell you, you are dealing with some other energy in this. This is not a nice energy either. It's a pretty toxic energy that you're dealing with. But I mean, we all know there's not really what the queen of cups means, the book, the book message. But I got to tell you what my guides are telling me. You got somebody who's pretty nasty. It does feel more like a feminine energy. So it might be a woman. If it's not a woman, it's it's someone who is really like, I'm not categorizing all women like that, so don't start with the comments. As somebody who's very catty and vindictive. So I get like that female karmic energy is what's coming off of it. Catty and vindictive. Um, I, it, it's just been a bad relationship or it's been this person's been really toxic in your life. I keep getting with the death card, like just needing to like cut ties with this. Cut ties. I feel so much manipulation in these cards. Um, this person laying guilt trips on you, trying to emotionally manipulate you, emotionally like blackmail you. Oh, this is really not a nice person who you're dealing with. I'm not sure who this three of cups represents to you. You guys know, spirit, can you please bring more for the collective with this message? What is this all about? What is the collective dealing with here? Six of pentacles, the star. Now, if you're looking after this person or if this person's trying to use... Um, money to keep you around or manipulate you. I just feel like this is something really poisonous that you need to move away from is what the cards keep saying. So that's what your guides are, are bringing forward. Like this is not a nice energy. This is not somebody you want to spend a lot of time around. This is somebody who really sucks the energy out of you. I like this person can make you depressed because they're just so nasty. They really are nasty. They try and manipulate you with emotions. They try to manipulate you with money. They try and sabotage your life and to keep you stuck with them. 
whoever this is because they don't want you to see your true potential. They don't want you to move away from them and go be happy and independent. They want to keep you miserable with them. It's like that, that misery loves company. Spirit, can you please bring more? Seven of Cups. Look at that choice. It's funny. Every time we pull these cards, the read tends to reflect a lot of what we see in the cards. As you may have a big choice to make, right? And we're feeling that with the, the world coin, with the fool coin. It's like taking a leap of faith on a choice. And it's like choosing to cut ties with this. I swear, choosing to move out of this situation. Spirit, can you please bring more for this read? Whoa. All those guys, that whole chunk wanted to come out. That one, and I got told this one too. So, start with the first big batch here. Look at the world. The world came out a second time. Three of swords. Uh, what I do get... I feel the internet in that world card, which is really weird. Like online, online. I don't know if you've been looking for an opportunity uh, to move, or to get a new job, or to get out of the situation somehow, and you've been looking online for it, for opportunity to try and separate yourself from this. Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. <sighs> yeah, you got to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Uh, it may mean being a little bit cold emotionally towards this person. Because this person tries to use your emotions and whatever connection the two of you have to like guilt you into staying too. Like I said, there's, there's money there and there's guilt there. They are kind of like the devil card. They are a poisonous influence in your life. They are detrimental to you. Yeah, you're going to have to be tough to get away from this person to make this choice because, like I said, I think they've been, I think they've gotten their hooks into you and they know how to make you feel like you're obligated to stay or like you can't do it without them or you can't be on your own or you can't make such a big change because somehow you'll screw it up or something. Like they know just what to do to try and mess with you. That Queen of Swords is that energy you're going to have to adopt. Look at the energy in that card, guys. You're going to have to stand up for yourself and be confident with this person to cut their negative influence out. Yeah, because they've been making you depressed. Like dealing with this person has you in a big depression. Eight of Swords. They're trying to put you in a mind trap. They're trying to confuse you and get you stuck so that you don't leave and they can keep controlling you. That's what this person is all about. I don't know who this person is to you. You guys know Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like you need, yeah, exactly. You need time away and space away from this person to be able to get clarity. Because as long as they're beacon off in your ear, it gets hard to see what's what. And it's hard to find the strength to say no and to stand up for yourself. Because they got you pretty beaten down. Nine of Wands. I gotta tell you too, if you get distance from this person, whoever this person is to you. This person's going to try and offer you money or something to come back. Like, say you took a trip and, like, you got out of town for that to really get some distance in between. And you're like, you know what? I like it so nice over here. I think I'm going to stay. They'd be like, no, no, come back. Come back. Look, I have an offering for you. I'll make it worth your while. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think we had enough of the war and enough of the battles. Don't get sucked in. If you get that distance... And you start getting that clarity and you're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. I can't go back to that. And they start trying to lay into you with their manipulating and trying to offer you things to come back. Trust your instincts. Trust yourself. Stand up for yourself. The hangman says the only thing that can hang you up in this situation and keep you stuck or get you restuck is you and your choices. You have the power to change the situation, Ace. Uh, I do see, that's interesting. So I do see an opportunity here for a job. 
for a new beginning. So I don't know if this is something that you're going to find online or if maybe you take a little trip to get away from this person, get a breather, and somehow you stumble across an offering. But I do see an offering to not go back to this situation. Some, it's, it's a golden opportunity to start fresh. Oh, yeah, no. This person, oh, God, yep, they start laying in with the guilt trip. Then they start laying in with something else here, too. Um, it has to do with money, and it has to do with legality. I don't know if this is like a contract or it's like an inheritance. Like, if this is like a family member you're looking after who's pretty nasty, and then they start threatening to take you out of the will or something like that. I keep getting that this person tries, uh, first they try to offer you money, offer you that they'll make it worth your while or they'll make it up to you for whatever happened in the past. Um, if you stick to your guns and go, no, I have another offering, I don't need that money, I'm going to make a life for myself, then they try to lay on uh, the guilt. That don't work, then they start playing dirty and start threatening something else. And it, like I said, it has something to do with a contract. Or something legal or illegal or I don't know what it is. If it's an inheritance or something for you guys. Seven of Swords, it's all strategy. They're like going through, okay, which one can I get you with? Which one can I get the collective with? Okay, shit, this this money offering didn't work in this in this fake offer to make it up to you, because I'm telling you, they're not gonna give you anything extra. Whatever this offering is, is I'll pay you, I'll make it worth your while, I'll make it up to you. That's BS. That's never gonna happen. As I can see right in that, it's a lie, it's fake, and it doesn't exist. So when that doesn't work, then they're like, okay, well, I better try the emotional card again, because that worked in the past. I'm going to guilt the collective into staying put. Nope, oh, that didn't work. Okay, well, now I'm really pissed off, and now I'm going to lash out and start threatening other things. Like, they're just going through it, trying to keep you around. Six of swords, page of wands, ten of wands, this person's burdens, this person's karmic energy, their toxic energy. You are better off cutting ties with whatever this is and moving away from this situation. Like I say, I don't know if this is like family and somebody who you're looking after, somebody who you're living with, or if this is at work in your job. This person is super poisonous. Super, super poisonous. So not good for you. I, I Like I said, I feel like uh, leaving... Or doing another opportunity comes with its own risks. That's why the fool coin came forward, the whole leap of faith thing, right? That leap of faith in starting a new chapter. Spirit, can you please bring more for the collective here? Seven of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person has money. Whoever this is who's trying to manipulate you, it's like they hold all the money or they have lots and lots of money. Which is part of why they were offering you more money to come back. Or with that six of pentacles, why they, they sort of like dangle the money in front of you. Or, or I don't want to say hold you hostage with it. But they use it to manipulate you. The money is part of it here too, guys. Spirit, can you please bring more for the collective? Thank you. This, this and these ones that went off to the side need to come out. I can't hold those guys. All right. Two of Wands. I don't know if you've sent resumes out already or applied for other jobs. Because I get this sense of wanting to take a new path, but like waiting for somebody to say something. We've got the Emperor here and he just sort of sits there. Uh, like he's trying to decide to make a choice too. Yeah, I feel like there's some other opportunity here that's sort of like, um, it's like it's waiting. You're waiting to hear back, waiting to hear if there's an opening for something. It may be an opportunity to maybe go back to school or to get more education or to get more training. Whatever this is too. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. 
Now I'm going to tell you this because this is what the cards are telling me. This opportunity that you wind up with that the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is talking about, it has the potential to take you on a new path away from this toxic person and to start a new chapter. That's what the world coin, the fool coin we're talking about. That's that leap of faith is taking on that new opportunity and moving in a new direction. If you keep this person in your life, whoever this person is and however you guys are, are sort of connected, this person will stop that. This person will put a damper on that. They will hinder your path in moving away. Yeah, your best bet is in getting away from this person. I don't think they're going to let you go easy. Because they actually in some way, shape or form need you and rely on you. Which is why they're desperately trying to keep you around in any way that they possibly can. Well, anyway, aside from actually like, you know, be nice to you. Seems to be the deal here. But they are, so, they are just such a poisonous person to be around. I just, I can feel the energy that comes off of their cards and it feels miserable. It feels so miserable and just poisonous and they say nasty things. <sighs> this person, man. Collective deserves better than this. Eight of Cups. Uh, careful, they might look into your correspondence, try and open your mail, try and open your emails, try and check your phone. It's like this person would snoop to try and figure out if you're leaving them. Try and figure out if there's an opportunity there. They try and get into your business uh, so they can, I don't know if they would go as far as deleting messages or hiding things or throwing things away to try and stop you from moving on and moving forward. I make sure your stuff, any of your electronics is password protected so that they can't get into it. And make sure that you keep your mail with you or put it somewhere where they can't get a hold of it. Because this person, it's Snoop and this person would sabotage. Yeah, you know what? And that, that would make sense why the cards are talking so much about getting physical distance from this person. And that might be most likely where your offer comes along to for something different because this person can't intervene. They're like physically not close enough to, to get a hold of your devices or to touch your mail or to anything like that. And so that's when messages get through. Because I keep feeling in the Six of Wands too, I get pulled back to Six of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Um, it ties into this opportunity for you. This opportunity that, that can only come with this distance from this person. I don't know if you sent something in somewhere. Like I said, I, I did say resume, but I wonder for some of you if this isn't um, like an art submission or something like something along that lines that you're trying to do and you're trying to build. And you are being recognized for it. It's like you're being looked at. You don't realize it, but I keep getting this feeling like you're being looked at right now to be given an opportunity. And if this person gets half a chance, they will in intercept that correspondence and delete it so you never see the opportunity. Like, they are really nasty. I don't know who this is for you guys. This person is really nasty. Oh yeah, they would love nothing more than to ruin your happiness. Nothing more. Uh, they might even brag about it. Oh yeah, something came for you, but I, I threw it away. It was garbage or, you know, like, and ha ha ha, kind of like laughing in your face. Hmm. Three of wands. Five of swords. This person's very deceitful. They don't want you to move on. They'll use lies. They'll use games. They'll use manipulation. They'll use whatever they got to use. Aside from treating you nice. To try and keep you around and to stop you from moving on. You need space and you need time. That's what the cards keep going over and over and over again. You need space away from this person. Physical distance away from this person. To get your clarity. 
to fill your cup back up emotionally because I think they got you really bloody depressed. That's what I kept feeling in the cards too. Like heavy depression. And like a hopelessness and you were just friggin' worn out. Burnt out from dealing with this person. So you need space and time to fill your cup back up. And it's going to help to bring you the clarity that you need to do what you need to do. To stand up for yourself. To cut ties with poisonous people. And to start looking out for yourself. Oh yeah, you got a collaboration here coming. Absolutely, you got a collaboration here coming. Uh, two of Cups, a lot of times it represents like a, a soul connection or whatever. Uh, I don't necessarily feel romance in these cards. This is partly, this is tied to your opportunity. This is tied to this, the someone who's looking at you or you're being looked at or considered. It's a partnership of some sort. And it will be a leap of faith. There's the fool again. It will be a leap of faith whether you take advantage of it or not. It's really interesting because I get pulled back to that. It's almost like this person is waiting to hear if you're willing to take this leap of faith and waiting to create this, this partnership, right? They bring this offering to you and then it's up to you sort of what you're going to do. They sort of leave it in your hands and they wait to see what you want to do too. So at the end of the day, this new path that opens before you, it will be your choice whether you take it or not. But that path, I get told that path can't be taken well, all of this is going on with this toxic person. It's kind of like one or the other. You're going to have to either stay sort of in the situation that you're in or take on something completely new. And having the fool come forward twice means whatever it is might be a little bit scarier or come with uncertainties. But all the rest of the cards are saying it's for your higher good. Getting away from this old situation is for your higher good. That's when you can start building for yourself. Days of swords. Victory. Truth and victory. Yeah, you are going to have to cut ties with the past here. Cut ties with the past. Because whoever that person is, that, that really raging karmic energy, that's really vindictive and gameplay and, and manipulative and all that nastiness, they will watch your life burn and they would help it along they, they'd fan the flames and they would love nothing more than that for whatever reason i just feel like they're just a really nasty unhappy person and it's like it's time to cut ties with somebody that toxic because they will just do nothing but drag you down and you deserve so much more than that you deserve to have a path that's beneficial to you, that brings you happiness, that doesn't stress you out and have you depressed all the time. And there is opportunity there. Like I said, I, the cards say physical distance from this person. And that's when things start to change. It's where you, you can fill your cup back up and you feel like you can stand up for yourself and you get some clarity. And there is an offer you find that comes forward to you for a collaboration that helps you start on a new path. That's what your guides want to tell you today. That's the most important message coming from your guides. Sun card was at the bottom of the deck. And the sun card's all about blessings. You're getting told that it's time to move on and start a chapter for you. Bring this poisonous chapter to an end and, and start looking after yourself and do what's best for you. The biggest thing here and it all starts with getting some distance uh, sort of sets the whole chain in motion as what tarot's saying and that's when things really start going for you getting out from under that yeah being able to choose a path you won't see as long as you're in this situation you won't be able to see what to do. It's just too much day in and day out. You need some space for yourself. 
that's when your clarity will come and that's when your opportunity comes and that's when you can start putting down roots somewhere else and start finding that stability and setting up for the future for yourself and taking your new path. That's what the cards got to say to you today. That's what your guides have to say. Alrighty, collective. Have a great day.